Hey everybody, it's Derek and welcome back to CRM Tip of the Day's Video Tips, your source for tips and step-by-step -step instruction on the latest version of Microsoft Dynamics CRM. So in today's feature, we're going to talk a little bit about events in USD. Now I know in the last video we taught that we did, we had mentioned that that was going to be our last USD video for a little while, but I've had several people ask me specifically about events and, and what they are from an application perspective. And so I just wanted to take a few minutes here and just discuss what they are. So think about an event as, as something you know, something important that happens within the context of a hosted control. Um, so the hosted control is going to notify the environment about this particular event and is usually going to notify it with things like parameters. And so then what an event allows us to do is once it's notified about this and these parameters are passed, we now have the ability to consume those parameters in action calls and we can use those to physically do something within the application itself. And so they give us a means to trigger functionality and initiate functionality based upon things that are happening inside a host of control. So let's hop into CRM and look at this from an application perspective. So again, in CRM, if I go back into settings and I go into Unified Service Desk, I'll see events. And this is going to show me all of the events that are currently registered within the application. Now, there's many different types of events, and each one of these events is typically hosted with a host or stored with a hosted application or a hosted control, and then it can be triggered based upon specific situations within that hosted, hosted application or hosted control. Now there's several real common ones, like one of the first ones that you would see would be the desktop ready, which basically tells you that, you know, the USD application has been loaded and now I want to launch or execute some specific type of functionality. Um, you also see ones for browser document complete for most of the different hosted applications or hosted controls that you see in here, just letting you know that that browser document has been completed from a load perspective and what do you want to do same with uh, loading pages and then it also gets you know that all of the data parameters have been populated for that information as well now you can create your own events in the application or register and create your own events, but you still have to have some mechanism when you create the hosted control in USD programmatically to fire that event, which you do have the capabilities to do. Now that's a little bit different of a courseware scenario. So let's just kind of focus on, you know, kind of the, the basics for, for today. So if I come into here for the CRM global manager, I'll see this desktop ready event. And if I open this desktop ready event, I can see that this is the event that is basically telling USD what to do after it's done loading. So you can see that it's maximizing the USD application window. There's actually a command here to load a dashboard, which is physically going in and loading the customer service dashboard. Um, and then it's setting focus on the customer service dashboard to the application. So what if I wanted to have, you know, maybe two dashboards be open and I wanted to be able to load those dashboards into, into the item or the application. So what I could do in this situation is I can actually go in uh, to Unified Service Dashboard and I could create a hosted control. So that's what I'm going to do here is create a hosted control and I'm going to just call this dashboard two. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new hosted control. Let's just call this dashboard two. We'll make it a CRM page hosted at uh, control. And because we want to be able to fire this across, you know, multiple situations here, we're going to make it a global hosted control so it can be run within the global context. We'll go ahead and we'll hit save and close. Now, each page or each item that you work with from a CRM object obviously has a URL associated with it. So each one of your dashboards will have a specific URL that's attached to the dashboard itself. And so from here, I would now have the capabilities to specify, you know, what specific URL I want to work with on this item. So if I go into my events again now, and I open up the desktop ready event, I can go ahead and add a new action call. Um, this one we're going to go ahead and call focus on dashboard or I'm sorry load dashboard 2 so now I'm just going to open this up and so what this load dashboard 2 is doing is I pick the hosted control that I want it to run off of so in this case I'm going to go ahead and pick dashboard 2 what is the action I want to do I want to navigate to it 
And then this is where I would have to supply the URL for the dashboard that I want to work with. And now I've already taken this URL um, and, and pasted it in here. So I've defined the URL for the item that I want to work with. And now I can go ahead and save this information. And now if I save it and I go back, I can see that what's basically happening in here now is I am maximizing the application. It's loading two dashboards. It's loading a dashboard called dashboard one and a dashboard called dashboard two. And then it's actually setting focus in the application on dashboard. Now, if I wanted to, I could open this up and I could just change this to set focus on to dashboard two very simply. And now it's going to display that item um, in the application itself. And so now the next piece of this would actually be to consume this from a USD standpoint. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the USD client and you'll see how this this all kind of comes together. So now it's getting ready. It's initializing the USD application. Um, in just a second here, we'll see our USD application load up. So it's loaded global manager. So the UI is going to start to pop up. And one of the first thing that's going to happen when the UI pops up is it's going to maximize that based upon that event and that action call that was associated with it. You'll see that it now loads both the dashboard and the dashboard to hosted control. And now it's setting focus on the dashboard to hosted control. And it's going to load that information or that dashboard information in to the application. So very easy way that you now have the capabilities to kind of pull that information in. It's a, it's a simplistic customization or a simplistic configuration change, but I think you can really start to see the potential for expanding this out into different areas. So I hope you enjoyed our quick look into events in USD. And again, as always, from all of us here at CRM Tip of the Day, this has been Derek, and I want to thank you very much for watching. Take care, and I hope you guys have a great one.